couple of dragons. Come on, baby. Keep smoking. Oh, yeah, I got a number over here. Look at that. The last week, sleeping in the car. I'm gonna pull this out of the way. Show you the back. Okay, there was a lot of things in the last video that I didn't show that I wanted to show. Just because they gave me the wrong tire, the wrong rim. And if you look right here on your tires, like this one says, 205-70-R15. And I'm not sure what the 96 is. But the 205 is the distance from the rim to the tread. The 70 is the width of the tire. And the R15 is the diameter of the wheel. This is a 15 inch wheel. Where you check, when you check to check what they call center to center on a rim for a car, you're gonna skip one. You're gonna go from here to here. It's just more accurate that way. You're measuring a longer distance rather than a shorter distance. And that's what I did with my receipt and the first thing that told me that they gave me the wrong tire was oh well, I originally went to just to buy a rim I was gonna pay $80 for a tire right down the street there at uh, <laughs> Big O Tires I was gonna pay $80 for a tire and when they said do you want the rim with a tire or without I already knew I was paying 50 bucks for the rim they said $25 for the tire I said sure and that was four fifty in tax, so it was eighty bucks, seventy nine fifty. I had the receipt in the house, but when they gave me the tire, the one they gave me didn't match from here to here. And I just I didn't have a tape measure, so I took my receipt, put one corner here, drew a mark at the center over here, and, and that's all you need. I mean, a piece of paper, a way to mark it. You don't have to have a tape measure. You don't have to be a a super smart person to go and get you know another spare tire for your car I think I'm they said they had two of those tires on whatever vehicle that they took it off of I might just go back and buy that other tire just because of the fact that then I will have two spare tires I'm gonna put one of them on here obviously because this tire is worn which I've driven since then it's oh there it is it's over there I'm gonna eventually end up putting one of those tires on here so it would be nice to have another spare and then you know I have something I can rotate out just in case just like I found the the wire in my other front tire the other day fortunately that kind of went in sideways I pulled it out with my multi tool and I didn't hear no hissing and the tire hasn't gone flat but yeah I just <laughs> anyway that the the original tire they brought me was 195 70 R15 well I seen the, the R15 which tells me the rim size and I thought it was a hey, 15 inch rim just uh just the wrong tire and some cars use the same rims but the wrong tires but that was the first thing that told me to check the bolt pattern because if that bolt pattern patterns off it's not gonna fit your car and you just paid eighty dollars for a tire that's not gonna help you at all, all right. the thing is I was wanting to show you this tire has very good tread I mean if you look over there it's almost like a brand new tire but if you look right here this says 205 70 R15 this tire fits my car perfectly the exact same tire and then like I said I just measured center to center from hole to hole and if you don't if you not feel comfortable with going from hole to hole, what you do is you go from like the first edge of this hole, which is a very sharp edge, to the first edge of this hole. The holes are going to begin at the same spot or end at the same spot if you want to go the other way. 
and that gives you a more accurate reading from trying to judge the center. You just go from this sharp edge here to this sharp edge here and that will be the same exact measurement as center to center or end to end. If you look inside your door you're going to see stickers like this. This tells me this is probably a budget rent-a-car at one time which would explain the the high miles and why it still runs so good because they do you know every oil change, change the filters, change the plug wires they take very good care of their cars but I know the lady that I got this car from had it for a few years and if I take you up here I can't show you and I don't have my flashlight it's got like 152,000 miles on it if you look at the stickers most of the time they'll tell you that the proper tire size I'm guessing because this car is such an old car that it doesn't tell me the tire size but if you look up there, you see a date. Let me get it in the center of the screen. 01 of 92. That's when this car was made. Tells the gross vehicle weight, 4,415 pounds. Wow. Oh no, that's the gross. Okay, total weight. Total weight of the car is 2449. Uh, I'm guessing it's <laughs> a little bit lighter now because I have some parts missing um, well maybe I have a full-size tire I'm sure a car this old came with a full-size tire but I don't see on there where it says the tire size I could have swore I seen somewhere it must have been in the book I must have been looking in the because I still have the original vehicles owner manual and I have the uh, let me go show you. The original warranty manual. It's pretty cool. Okay. Buyer's Guide. 1992 Pontiac Grand Prix. Warranty. Limited warranty. 100% of the labor. Let's see if this has a date on it. Hmm. I don't see a date. But, I mean, everything was 100% covered back then, so you know this has got to be a lot of years ago. I found this in the glove box. The glove box actually has a combination lock. And I'll mess it up just so you're not seeing my combination. But the uh, glove box actually has a combination lock that you have to set the combination lock. Once you open it, you can flip this orange lever up and then change your combination. When I got the car, I started out at 001. And I went 002, 003. Okay, there's only a thousand combinations, right? I got to 009. And then instead of going to 010 for 10, I accidentally went to 000. And that was the combination, so that's how I got in the glove box. And then there just happened to be a, a photocopy of somebody's birth certificate in the glove box that I gave back to the lady that was nice enough to give me this car. But I still... Was, no, that's not the original 93 Pontiac Grand Prix. Grand Prix. You can see by the paper it was a 91 this paper here well I mean 92 January 92 no this is something different what is this oh that's the big old tires that I just told you and I went and paid okay there's the oh down here's a total 83.47 for that tire right there and it doesn't have better tread by much than the tire I just bought so I just paid 80 you know $83.47 for this tire 
without the rim because I had to put a tire on the car. One other thing you have to take into consideration is the quality of tire. Oh, let me see if I can get this out here. If you look right there, that's a Goodyear tire. Okay? Goodyear, they spend a lot of money developing their tires and the, the quality of tire it shows. If you look down here, the tire I just paid for, $84, is a, it's a big O tire. Let's see if I can't in there. It says Epic Tour. Oops. Let's see if I can zoom out. It says Epic Tour. I guess I got that upside down. Let's see if I can get it upside down. I zoomed in somewhere. Epic tour. And so that's an eighty dollar tire. And then I come over here to my trunk and I've got a fifty dollar rim with a twenty-five dollar Goodyear tire just like brand new huge tread if you look over there you can see through the tread huge tread and I got the tire for 25 bucks I know they said they had two when I was there talking to them I might go back and try to get the other tire and rim and then I'll have two spares I mean two is one one is none